set up. Top 8 will kick off around 6.30, so about after the set, Vinylik. Oh boy. Ray Pokolam, here we are again. Yeah, so Pokolam just spent a whole set dealing with Diet Wonder Wing in the um, Steve Minecart. Um, now you get to deal with the real one. But which one's the diet? Is Minecart better than Wonder Wing, or is Wonder Wing better than Minecart? Well, Wonder Wing is just more than Minecart. The like, diet. it's, it's, yeah, but it's like, it's just like, it's more extreme than Minecart. That's fair, that's fair. Like, armor, um, well, not armor, it's like, I, In invincibility. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, invincibility is a form of armor, if you, if you open your mind. Um, yeah, and I guess he's not invincible to grabs, so yeah, it's, it's like a suit. It's like a new form yeah. of armor. Eh. It's armor. Yeah, it's armor. It's armor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we decided it's armor. <laughs> exactly. There you go. All right. Enjoy this Wonder Wing. Much more even game right off the start. It felt like the winner side set with Pokemon, like everything just, like everything was decided right from the word go. Yeah, and that's true, especially players, game three. Yeah, players just got like huge leads and there was no way for either player to get back. Like three stocks to one seen so frequently. But this is like tit for tat, a little bit more, a little bit more one hit for one, despite the Wonder Wings coming out. But I believe Array has two left on deck. So if he ever feels impatient, that's what's coming out. Oh, Ooh. he had three. And Wonder Wing is, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, it's probably the biggest X factor in this matchup. Um, yeah, I would agree. It's it, and yeah, yeah. It, it just like how it's used. If Pokemon can can force Ray, oh well, just force Ray's stock out of there. Like there's a there's a neutral here that both players are playing, and it's it's got its own pace. He's it's got all this the damage coming out and then Wonder Wing throws a wrench into all of that five times per Oh time. yeah. Literally the scene from Dodgeball where the dude gets a wrench thrown at his head. <laughs> can dodge a wrench, can dodge a ball. Mm-hmm. But can you dodge a, a bear? Is Banjo a bear? Banjo's a bear, yes. Okay. He's a he's a bear of undisclosed type and bird. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just pocketed the grenade. I don't think Banjo can spawn another grenade. So he just has to rely on normal eggs and his, his grit and spit. Mm hmm. Pluck, grit, pluck, moxie, and grit. Whole lot of duct tape. Is he gonna, he's gonna go off? No. Oh, he is. Okay. Oh, I love Coming that nair. Uh, that, right? that nair works so much better rising than, like, maybe the forward air does. Yeah, forward air is great on she. Oh, get absolutely caught mm. up. Forward is great on stage because it's one of Banjo's few uh, safe aerials. But mm -hmm. it neutral air just being able to cover a whole lot more space. Like, and on top of Kazooie being a disjoint, uh, it all it all comes together for a really like fundamentally solid ledge trapper. Yeah. And I mean, both of these characters are like really. Um, re like really solid at the ledge. Oh yeah. Pokemon just really got a chance to show it off, though. These trees have mm. been trees have been planted, but uh, not in not in positions where Pokemon can make something out of it. Pokemon is definitely a tree master. Yeah. He is uh, he is an arborist. He he goes gardening as, mm -hmm. as you know why not garden in. He's got he's got a landscaping service. That's impressive. Oh, waiting out the second there. Mm hmm. Good discipline from Ray. Holding steady. The grenade. Grenade, grenade was coverage. It was a means of if he got hit, he could pop himself. He could readjust his knockback angle. Ooh. And Pokemon's just sitting behind the wall. Just runs out and axes. I love it. I love it. Yeah, no more waiting. Only mm -hmm. crush. It's time for murder. Okay, regrab? 
Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, I was just about to say like Poke Pokemon was kind of going kind of crazy in the beginning of this uh, last stock, but then Wonder Wing just comes out. One, like Wonder Wing is these like it's the everything breaker. It's the momentum breaker. It's the zone breaker. It's the deal breaker. It's the heartbreaker. Yeah. Dream taker. Yeah. Oh oh yeah. I I we went there together. I'm glad I'm glad that we went there together. <laughs> What? Oh yeah. my god, that was really so nice. crazy that like to clank with the bowling ball and then find the second multi-hit there. Well, these are crazy. Well, and Banjo can use them in much of the same way that a lot of other characters can, I believe. Yeah. I, even at this percent, I think uh, Bear 1-2 can combo into up smash. It absolutely can combo into F-Tilt. And even an F-Tilt might do it at 158. Oh, that's like, <laughs> got shot. Oh, okay, that's one one. Okay. This is maybe, this is much more, okay, this is obviously much more doable if you can stuff out the last two Wonder Wings. Like maybe, you know, catch him going off stage and ha make him having to go like one out and one back. But, I mean, also good luck trying to do that. And Pokemon is dead to any grab here. Like, because grab will... But he's doing, the, he's, he's doing the hard, like he's, he's grinding this stock out. He's getting the damage. Last wonder, one more Wonder Wing left. Now, I mean, uh, like, uh, um, Banjo can still kill off of a grab, like no problem. Oh yeah. Whether it's not back throw, it's down throw setups. But it, yeah. Man, Lamb has really gotten all this back in 45 yeah. seconds on the card. Oh my God, this is really scary. Yeah, up there. Now, I mean, Lam Lam Poke Lamb's gonna have to win this. Um, Utopian Ray can definitely try and play for time. But Pokalam is not going to get a percent lead. Li li is likely not going to get a percent lead without also just getting the game, which he does! Finally. Oh my god! Finally, after so long, the extra stall that Ray ended up doing, whether it be to stall for time or to pull a grenade, it gave Pokalam the chance to plant this tree. He said, whatever, that's fine. I'm not going to mess with you up there. I'm going to set up my ledge trapping and play center stage like good players do wow. in tough situations and you like that right there that replay right there that's just a clinic of ledge trapping and like everything leading up like it's not it, like it won't fit into a replay but just it, the the real clinic there was everything leading up to that last play um and uh, because like that was like pokalam just like literally just hunkered down he's like all right defense 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 we're playing super super safe and like this is what villager does best it's like like paper cut paper cut paper cut with um with with the slingshot and with the lloyd rocket and get the damage and get the damage and all of a sudden once you have your opponent at kill percent it doesn't matter what percent you're at because if you can force them off stage you can ledge trap and you can win the game that's a huge win for pokalam yeah i mean the Stage counterpick is one that was kind of expected from right. He often counterpicks the FD, but just the amount of mentality, the mentality you have to go in of like, man, a lead is never really a lead. It can kind of make you mm -hmm. uncomfortable with your own <laughs> gameplay. Oh man, like, yeah, that Banjo's neutral air can do a lot of good things for him, but it's also, it, it's weird because of how it's trying to pull in. So when you land with it, sometimes the landing, the opponent can cross up the banjo that landed the neutral air, so you don't always get everything consistent out of it. It's weird. Like that. That's where you want to get it. You want to get back hit of Nair to combo into grab, but landing back hit of Nair can sometimes be problematic. <laughs> oh, okay. He got that parry there. Ready for, the, ready for the tree to get chopped down. I'm almost surprised he's attacking the tree so liberally, because if you leave it... Well, if you leave it, Whoa, he he's access. going deep off. Man, he went. Yeah, he went gone. Yeah, he went all the way out. He went. He went into the deep end. No floaties. Pecking away. It's kind of the tempo we expect from this setup. Yep. And 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 both characters are super content to play this kind of game. But. Looks like uh, there's that up smash. Up smash has really been the X factor for Pokalem so far. Past two top, past two stocks. Oh have been my god! Is he dead? No, it's only 23%, no, but it feels so damn good. Especially since he was 
like a two banjos away from the blast zone. Oh my god. Yeah. Man, not even getting a chance to use banjos down to like there. This is in the early part of the game one. Ray found a use to use a lot of banjos tools to all of their effectiveness. Mm -hmm. And after it became even stocks game three, something shifted in Pokelam's mind where it said, okay, I know how to eliminate down tilt as a move that you can use. And mm -hmm. I know how to utilize up smash in a way that it will always hit you. He's thrown yeah. out two and they've killed twice. Now, it's, I think it's worth noting that this is a much different stage than we had game one. Game one was town, right? I believe game one was town. Um, and, uh, it like, it, it, right, so there's, so FD, you have much less space to run around. Um, you're, like, Wonder Wing is probably a, 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 a bit of a bigger threat here because, like, there's no spot on stage where you can just, like, wait it out from, from long range. Um, so the, the, uh, Pokalim's gonna, like, the defense is gonna be a little bit harder because there's a lot, there's, there's a lot less space to run. But don't look now. I mean, a lot less space to run for either player. It kind of yeah. favors the, the character that can just power through anything. Yeah. And damage is starting to rack up on Pokalim's side. He misses the jab lock. And now this is where we need, like, I remember commentating a, uh, a Xeno Wi-Fi recently where Utopian Ray had a bunch of five, five game thrillers in Losers. And the story, of, the story of each set was Utopian Ray goes down early and then just starts making adaptations. And that might be what we need, uh, that, that might be what we need to see here um, if the Utopian Ray is going to stay alive in this bracket. And we, we know we can do it. It's just a matter of adapting to, you know, the number one seed in this bracket, like one of the toughest players you have to you have to go up against. Especially since Pokemon is really, he's playing a type of game that doesn't. Oh, he's got. Okay, that, I love that idea though. Yeah, he, he has to do that infinite. Yeah. yeah okay. So and you're, you're and you're you're absolutely content to burn a Wonder Wing for that. Oh, yeah. I know it's last stock and you only have three left, but. It, it, you don't get to this spot relying on Wonder Wing only. There's a grab, that's a kill. We are last stock, this is basically even. In a much better spot, but Pokemon has done a really solid job of limiting the amount of data that, Ooh, that Ray is huge get. off of any opportunity. And that's one of those little adaptations that make a lot of difference. When landing with Slingshot, most of the time Pokemon expecting, expecting shield punishes it. Wow, a lead. First time of the set, first time of the game. That's crazy. But like, Utopian Ray bringing it all the way back. We talked about these adaptations. This is a best of three. You don't have time to, to you don't have time to, you don't have another game to throw away. But you you can make the most of the time that you got. Oh, he uses an air dodge, yep. buffered it. Oh, what? Card? What? He's under 100. He's under 100. Right. He got more iframes because he's under 100. But like, my heart stopped when I saw that bowling ball. Oh, no, my God. And oh, but there's the actual, the oh, the equalizer. Have to be careful. He has to use his last Wonder Wing. No more of those. Okay, so he's got to, he's got to earn his stocks like a, like a real, like a real character. Yeah, true and honest neutral now. Uh-huh. Egg is going to play a huge part. He's playing around Boyd. Blue collar neutral here. Oh my God, you, 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 running into a villager with an ax is so scary. It's incredible how much Wonder Wing can give Pokemon so much freedom because he's putting up tree after tree and knows yeah, that Ray can't exactly. do anything about it. Exactly. Oh my god, the wall. And okay, don't look now, but there's one, there's less, almost less than one minute left on the, t on the clock. I, again, I don't think we see a time match, but it's on the table. Oh, he went for the grab there too, but the buffering spot dodge. Man, he's playing. He's playing it safe. Pokerland's retreating back into that game three uh, men or game one mentality of like, I, oh, I'm just not gonna get hit. Period. Yeah. But Utopian Ray able to tap into that a little bit as well. He's Down got there. the grab. Up he's got the bury. He's got the up tilt. He's got game two. Utopian Ray still alive. Oh, wow. Inches. Literal inches. It's axe. Look at how much shield stun, the shield pushback on this axe. But wow, and still enough. able to get the grab. 
Oh, and that's that's an angry grab. You see how angry Banjo and Kazooie were on that? That was a that was that was an aggro grab. And you know what? Um, we ha we cannot discount the fact this has been a long ass best of three. Under a minute in each one of these Un games. Exactly. Um, like this is it's like these you, these war of attrition like war these wars of attrition. Um, they they can really take a toll. Now both of these both of these players I'm sure have the mental stamina to, to to be relatively unaffected. But you're thinking about like game three. You cannot. This is a really like coming out of this set, winning this set for either of these players is going to be a huge wave of momentum for them to to go further on in this bracket. Oh my God, it's Treasure Trove Cove. <laughs> is this a is this a Banjo Kazooie song? It's a Banjo Kazooie song. Oh and no! It's a bop. Plenty. It's quite the bop. <laughs> Now, okay, that's only fair because game one was on Town and City. This is true. This is true. Like, if, if we can't play on the, the freaking Gruntilda Hill, Hilta, whatever, I don't know what it's called. Spiral Hill. Uh, Spiral Hill, thank you. Um, if we can't play on that stage, at least we can get the song on, on Battlefield. Gruntilda Hilta, love it. I don't, I don't know, man. I know, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Look at even Pokemon's popping his head. Oh my god, just powered right through. Right. Yep, it's time for aggression. I'm not gonna be there when the tree uh, sprouts. Wow, that's two now. That Pokemon has missed jab blocks off of Nair. What won him Zeno, I believe, on Wednesday was the fact that he was so consistent with a lot of these jab blocks mm. and could pop off combo starters out of a out of shield option. Oh, and the, the platform, the Sharky on the platforms with Nair is, uh, the Nair and up air mix up is a really, really scary combination. He got caught on the platform with that. That's almost a waste of a Wonder Ring. It got him back to center stage. Mm. Okay, again. Yeah. I mean, and uh, like, honestly, like using Wonder Wing isn't as bad as dying with Wonder Wings on the table. This is fair. This is fair. You'd rather have zero than and have used them. Perhaps a, you have to pull the trigger a little too much than yeah. not at all. Better to better to have Wonder Winged and whiffed than to never have Wonder Winged at all. Yeah. True words never spoken for the name of a banjo. Mm. Baron Bird, be learning. Yeah. Words are crazy, man. Words are so powerful. I love. Yes. Yeah. Love them. Meanwhile, um, Utopian Ray uh, still like, still like being very, very uh, uh, stingy with the Wonder Wings. Uh, he's kind of found interesting ways to conserve them. Whether you take all of these pelts be because you can, oh, because he's looking for that. He's waiting for Pokemon just to get into this autopilot like slingshot slingshot mode mm -hmm. and he's not had to use as many get bypassing tree because he's just dashed right past it wow, he's still oh alive. wow that's no huge range. to live that good recovery with a grenade that's been on point and he's got another one delaying the just to, and like percent doesn't matter pretty much here okay gets that gets the up air but you're right that would have killed me percent ago so yeah Especially, I think that was three turnips. Like, you're super dead. Yeah. I think it was uh, Kurogane Hammer who, who who remarked in Smash 4, like, why does every single RNG move in this game use turnips? An excellent question. I had to think about yeah. that for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Because we got Peach, we got uh, Villager. Um, there's another one, too, right? I think there's um, another one. I mean, there's... Uh, gaming watch is judge, but that doesn't use turnips. It will spawn apples. Well, and app, uh, yeah, apples are basically turnips if you think about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, what does he have in his? Uh, he has to have grenade in his pocket. We haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. Yet. I think it would like. I think the fact that it says bomb, like the bomb icon, I don't think it would say. I don't think it would have that icon if it was an egg. Yeah, what? Oh no, he was big just big bowling ball. Spot That's in the huge. Time. Okay. What yeah. a snipe! Ray's gonna have to put on his uh, his big boy pants again, like he had in game two. And we talked about it earlier. Um, 
you don't want to lose. You don't want to leave Wonder Wings on the table because five left. You're lucky if you can. You, you're lucky if you only have to use one or two to take this last stock. But that's only four left now. We we seen Ray do it without Wonder Wing. But this is a this is a game three poke clam on his counter pick. That's, that's oh he's got one Oh it was, my god, that's huge. That's so critical. It was big that he landed it. It was bigger that he didn't die. Yeah. Now, po now poking lamb can just keep playing his game again. Same spot. Okay. All right. Now I gotta be honest. Like two Wonder Wings is not as many as you'd like, but 45% is pretty clean, considering how tanky this character is. Yeah. Watch out for stray bowling balls, which can be a little Whoa. bit hard on this stage. Yeah. And you're dealing damage. Wow! Percent lead. Percent lead for Ray. Ray is fighting from the heart right now. We are locked even at 54.0. One minute 45 on the clock. This is another knockdown drag out game. 140. I mean, this is a more likely game to go to time because of the... That's true. Just because, of, yeah, the percents right now. And you're on Battlefield, huge blast zones to take and count mm -hmm. of. I mean, it's favored both players uh, at least one time in each game. Does Ray just dash past? No, he's plays, he plays it safe. He plays it safe. Apple. And Ray, and Ray standing tall right now, um, like unfazed by the by the by the tall task ahead of. No, we have to we have to acknowledge like tall task for Ray, tall task for Pokelam. Like these are the one and two seeds in the tournament, and this is, this is last stock, last game. Loser goes home. Or loser stays home. It's Wi-Fi. But like, <laughs> loser abandons the chance to uh, get more and more of this one thousand plus dollar pot bonus. And every stock counts, but tournament stock for both players. There it is. Oh my god! Utopian Ray! Utopian Ray! From nowhere! Gaha! That's right! Gaha your way into top eight, Utopian Ray! Good god almighty! He didn't use he didn't use one, that whole stock. He did not! He did not! He he suckered him in. I'm not gonna use it. I am not gonna need it. All of a sudden, you're dead. Yeah, just little by little, inch by inch, he caught Pokelam just like chilling on platforms, wanting to pop, uh, wanting to drop these bowling balls and pop, pull up his trees, like all of that stuff that Villager ends up doing. And all he needed was to get him a kill percent, so he would call out a a slingshot. That's all he needed to do, but he had to get him there. And that's all he that he looked at that task. He looked at the pace of the game and said, "Okay, who's next?" 